walked across this bridge and in our guidebook it kind of looked like maybe we should go down this little alleyway and we went down this little alleyway and down here there was a guy working on a scooter and he was waving at us to come over and yes this is a hotel this view of what you're seeing right now is pretty much the best i've got because i'm not gonna walk down the stairs maybe i'll take a video when we get down there or whatever um this is the cheapest room we've ever had and it is probably maybe the worst but we've got a pretty impressive view i'm just gonna let that sink in <laughs> um and it is on the water and surprisingly it's not smelly water which is good <laughs> Um, I wonder if this noise from the bridge is going to be allowed in the morning, and we do have a sign right outside our window, but, um, let me show you the room. I can kind of see into the room right there. Um, so, she brought us up here, and now I can't find the key. Is the key in there? Okay. This, that's where I keep the key, alright? Worst video ever. Okay. So... You unlock this, which opens <laughs> to another door, <laughs> and you unlock that, and you go in. Um, it is a very small bed. Um, it's a little more than a queen and a lot less than a full. I mean, a little more than a twin and a lot less than a full. We do have a fan, which is the first ceiling fan that we've ever seen. Um, lots of windows which I've opened so that we can get a draft in here. Um, lots of random old furniture. Um, it does come fully equipped with our own ant farm. And there are mouse droppings in here, um, but we have yet to see any mice. Whatever, who cares? As long as they don't bite me, I don't care. Um, have not been fully into the bathroom yet, but not really that excited about it. it looks like the toilet seat is broken. It is only a cold shower, but I tested the water pressure and that was nice. Our sink is weird and just goes straight down onto the floor there. Um, and that is our room in its entirety. And this room is 170 baht per night, which when you do the math on that is about five or six dollars. So that's our room. And let's go back out to the better points. The view. <laughs> Um, uh, we're in Pechabere, um, and we have yet to find out what this town has to offer, so we're going to go get dinner. Katie doesn't want to show you the amazing gym we have here, okay? She's like, oh no, I don't even think that's a gym. I don't even know what that is. A blood owl. Going to get our workout on. That's Katie. That's the gym. <laughs> Do it. it won't go Come on, lose some weight. Come on, crunch one out. You got nothing. You got no skills. You're going left. There you go. All right. Sit on it. It hurts. Is it a gym or a sex toy? Hopefully you can hear me. This is what it looks like on the outside. Nothing real pretty, but then there's this weird dog down here. <laughs> he looks like a rat and he kind of hobbles along. I like him. Yes, that is a monkey you're seeing going underneath that car and coming out from underneath that car and coming over here next to me and there's a fight. <laughs> there was a fight. Oh, he got bitch slapped. That was awesome. Oh, that monkey got bitch slapped. All right, anyways. Oh, there's some nipples. Nipples. All right, well, these monkeys, I am two feet away from a monkey and they kind of scare me because you kind of think they're smart, maybe. That one did get bitch slapped. Oh my God. Right now we are in Pechaburi and basically here are some caves. There's Eric. He's an evolved monkey. Um, <laughs> okay. This monkey thinks he's better than me. You should see the way he looked at me. I mean, you don't have any bananas. He's probably got hordes of bananas somewhere. Um, 
give me one? We're here to check out some caves, but thus far, um, the monkeys have been the best attraction. We did talk to some guy that had really, really good English. Oh, more bitch slapping. I mean, there are... Oh, I can't see. They're hiding behind the wheel wells. But anyways, there's a lot of monkeys. All right, I'm done. I'm done monkeying. We just came down a couple of stairs that look like that. And uh, I want to point out that, again, things that don't cost you money are epic looking. Here we go. Hey, Eric. How small do you feel? Here, they'll, they'll put Buddhas pretty much anywhere. In caves. And it kind of says, it, it makes me wonder if they notice how amazing looking this is without putting a Buddha in it. Those are the stairs that we took to come down here. And then, blot out. I kind of thought this couldn't get any better, but look how small Eric is. Oh, this is awesome. What is it? Collects rain. I don't know if you can hear that, but there are bats in here. I don't know where they are, but they're hiding. I just talked to this guy right here. Maybe some up here. That's, uh, no, it's looking good. Oh, this one. Hold on, you really, you really want to give? Uh, <laughs> you just ruined like the best video ever. <laughs> Oh, that's that's book to buy. Huh? So we're in a different type of cave now. Um, well, now all the bats are gone. There's one. There's one there. Oh, there we go. They're about 10 feet above our head. And then there's always this. No. He does look pissed. So, oh, every time I go to show something, I, I turn it up, all the bats are gone, I put it down here, this dog's done licking its genitals, that one's done being mad. <laughs> Apparently this lady comes down into the cave and feeds all the cave dogs. They also have bananas, and I'm not sure where they're taking those bananas. What kind of offerings they're doing. Those are for me. Oh, they're going to give you the bananas? <laughs> I'm going to give you a few minutes. See if you can tell me what that sound is. It's something that Eric and I haven't heard for like two months. It's the beach. Yeah. Um, we got on our steed and we drove all the way from Pecha Bode. Eric! Eric! Hey, where are we? Where are we? Uh, that was very descriptive. Um, we're, we're, and we drove to the beach. It was like a half an hour drive, so it really wasn't that far, but we said the beach. <laughs> Time to go skinny dipping. All right, so we have stumbled upon this jellyfish. That's my foot. It's the size, it's bigger than my head. We're at a food stall and I got my current favorite dish, which is um, guy and cow. Cold chicken. Which is just cold chicken on rice. But this sauce here is really good and these soups are really good and it comes with cucumber and this one's actually really well presented. Look at this. And Katie is eating. I'm pretty sure that I think I think this is I think this is a chicken liver. I'm not very sure. Um, 
just eating a giant. That's not a that's not a chicken liver. That's a pig liver. Yeah. It's chicken. That's as big as a chicken. <laughs> and here comes my fruity drink. God. And um, Katie's soup was 25 baht. And I don't know. That's a big piece of something. And mine is 25 baht. And I'm not sure what the drink costs. Probably 20 to 30 baht. So. One, two, uh, this would be less than three bucks for dinner. And I don't know. I just keep pulling out random animal parts. <laughs> <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a farm up in that bowl. The broth is delicious though. <laughs> <laughs> that entire meal actually worked itself out to 60 baht, so just uh, right at two dollars. So that's a pretty good price. And the watermelon drink, fruity drink thing was exquisite. <laughs> he just stole your Thanks, banana. banana. Yeah. Oh. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's craziness.